walking up to my favorite fish store. back home you guys this is what we're working with okay um this is going to be a 55 gallon tank and it used to be a home to about four cichlids um the the cichlids when i got them were alive and well thriving i had them for about three years and what happened was I got a severum that was donated to the pet store. I, I believe the pet and I adopted it, basically. I adopted a fish from the pet store. It's different when you do a fish adoption because um, that means like somebody who couldn't keep the fish brought it to the pet store and then you're taking it to your home. But anyway, I bought a severum from the pet store, the same one that I just came out of. And it had the beginning um, stages of it. I did not see the signs on the fish. It didn't have any white spots or anything. But I want to say a week after I added that fish to my tank, the fish didn't do well with that fish. They started all scratching and itching and stuff like that. So um, they started dying one by one. One day I came downstairs and the fish was just shooting all over the tank, all over the place. And they passed away. And Polly, <laughs> which is what I named my blood parrot, I had her the longest, the all of the full three years. And I watched her grow from a baby to a very pretty large size fish. If I could find a picture of her or some footage of her, I'll add it into the video if not then i couldn't find it i've switched phones uh very often so i'll see if i can find some footage of her but she was very beautiful a nice healthy orange color she was huge and um yeah so i was very upset about that and decided to stay away from um being a fish mom for a year and a half but i think i'm ready now so, moving right along, like I said, this tank is 55 gallons. Um, this is just some of the ornaments that were left. This is the aftermath of the massacre that happened in here. Uh, the tank is very filthy. I'm going to try to restore it the best way I can. Um, everything just happened so quickly. I didn't know what was going on, so I've taken a year to educate myself on what to do if your fish is showing signs of ick and I now know how to separate them and things of that nature. I'm learning, but I don't want to get any more fish and then they get sick, don't know what to do, and just keep killing our fish. You know, I blame myself every day. That's the heater. And I learned that that's inadequate for a tank of this size, so I do have something better. Like I said, I educated myself. So that'll be removed and um, perhaps put to the side for if I get a smaller tank for like the kids' room or something like that. Um, that's going to be the filtration system. This is something that I got from Walmart. It's going to be a Tetra Whisper. Um, and it's supposed to be for tanks 30 to 60 gallons. Now... <laughs> As you get into aquatic life, you kind of, no offense against Walmart, but I won't be buying anything else from them. I'd rather go to a known um, aquatic store and get the top notch products for my aquarium. That's just me. If you find Walmart products to be good for your tank, then do what's best for you. Um, this is the under cabinet where I keep the buckets. Um, they, I got the little suction vacuum to clean out the rocks and stuff like that. It's very dusty down here. So I'm going to take today to just restore everything. That's the box the filter came in. That's the air stone machine. 
And now I'm going to show you some of the new things I'm going to be switching out. The new filter and um, the new heater. Also, I want to show you guys what's inside of this um, filter. So it has the uh, filter cartridges in there. And my new filter is going to be a little different. Okay, this is the new filter. It's by Penguin. And um, it has bio wheels in there. 350, I guess that's the model number. I'm going to take this off so you guys can see inside. There's the, the filter cartridges right there. Everything you need is inside of there. And then there's the bio wheels. So I'm most confident that this will keep my tank a little more cleaner. It's a little bit more high tech. And when I set it up, I'll give more information on how it works. I've never seen this bad boy in action, but you guys will see firsthand with me if you are in the same boat and don't know how these work. Next is my heater. This is the new heater. Um, it's by, I think it's called Aquion. Um, it was about $50. Um, and also my filter was about, I think it was $59. Has the, um, it says precision collaborated aquarium heater, 150 watts for aquariums up to 55 gallons. And my aquarium is 55 gallons, so that kind of bothers me that it's right there at that mark. I would like for it to be a little over 55 gallons, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't want it to be too warm in there. So red means it's heating, green means it's at a set temperature. So um, I'm feeling like um, as the water gets cold, then you can see it going from red to green as it regulates the temperature of the water, of course. Shadowproof, nearly indestructible, fully submersible, which is good. This was the water conditioner that was recommended. It's by Aquarium Solutions, and it's going to be an ultimate full function water conditioner. $15. So when I come back, all of this will be cleaned up. And I'll probably have the ornaments in place, or I might let you guys see me pouring the new, the new gravel in the tank. So, see you when I get back. Okay, so I took the tank outside to kind of clean it out. Um, this is going to be my rock setup. I still got to, like, kind of clean some of the old algae off of the glass. It's giving me a headache. And it's not coming off. So somebody said that I could use like half vinegar, half water and go ahead and clean it. So I'm going to try that. But um, basically this is going to be the setup. As you can see, I went and bought some river rocks and then um, I bought some big rocks from Home Depot. So the fish can have a few hiding spots. They can go in there. They can go down in there. You know, it's a few nooks and crannies. And then I tried to kind of secure the rocks with the small river rocks, just in case the rocks decide to try to slip. But these aren't going anywhere. The way I stacked them, they're pretty secure. And especially underwater, it's gonna be very hard to move those so when I come back um, this tank will have some decorations maybe some trees and I'm gonna put the water in so stay tuned
So you guys, this is the finished product. I must say that I am pretty happy with the results. I did not think that it would come out this good. If you guys saw how the fish tank was, the condition it was in the beginning. I have already went ahead and um, switched out the bio wheels. I went to the um, pet store and basically they give you bio wheels. Here's the date on it. So that says May 17th. So yes, I switched out the bio wheels. So basically what they do is take your old ones and they give you some with some bacteria on it. Some healthy bacteria for the fish. Um, again, this tank is by Marine Land. I don't know if you guys can see that. And this thing works really good. I don't know if you can see that. It's a lot of water that splashed from me taking out the wheel. This thing works so good. Let me tell you guys what happened. So I bought these rocks, these river rocks, from my local Home Depot store. And I rinsed them off and I did the vinegar test to make sure that they were safe for the tank, the tank and to make sure they didn't fizz up or anything. And when I went ahead and rinsed them off and I put them in the tank, there was still a lot of, I guess, dirt, sand or whatever on them. And my tank was really cloudy a couple of days ago. So... That filter cleared up everything. Everything. I didn't add any water clarifier or anything like that. You guys, look at this volcano. Isn't that cute? That's like the cutest thing. I just love it. I love the rocky thing. Um, if you guys are paying attention to my background, all that is is a piece of construction paper that I got from Dollar Tree for 67 cent. It was about this big. I did have to cut it a little bit for it to fit. Um, you can kind of see that crease right there. I don't like that. But in the future, I will be getting the background customly made for my tank um, through a place that I was referred to called, um, what is the name of it? I can't think of the name, but if I remember the name, um, I think it's called Universal Rocks or something like that. And what they do is they create stone backgrounds, rock backgrounds, whatever you want. And it's made out of plastic or foam composite. It does not mold. It does not break away. It does not affect the fish. And that's what I think I'm going to go with. And for the price that they're asking for, I think it's safe to say that it is an investment. So for right now, this works. I love the pretty blue color. I just wanted my tank to look like a sunken place at the bottom of the ocean. Where my little fish friends could have a lot of hiding places. Um, there's a little piece of tree bark in here. So there's some holes in there where they can go in and kind of hide the weaker fish. And... The skull has hiding places as well. There's a hole in the back, the eyes, the nose. Um, there's a lot of little secret compartments in the rocks where they can go around and hide. So I'm just loving this tank, you guys. They can even go down in the volcano. I've had fish go down in there and come back out. It's amazing. I love this rock thing. I think I'm going to stick with that for a while. I love that you guys are seeing this tank in its beginning stages. I'll probably change this tank in about a year. I look forward to you guys seeing my fish friends. And um, you guys are going to get to know them through the videos. Because I'll be showing clips of them in some of my videos sometime. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. I think when I move into my big house, I'm going to get a bigger tank, way bigger. So you guys stay tuned for that. 
Okay, you guys, let me know what you think about my tank and my <laughs> aquascaping skill. Yeah, I don't have any fish yet, but when I come back and do the second part of this video, I will have at least two fish in the tank to introduce to you guys. So please like, share, and subscribe if you like my tank, if you like my video, if you like the thing that I have in my tank. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys soon with my video introducing my new fish. Bye.